it's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk. Welcome back, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We are on Redshire, spawning into the north, and I am back in the Manticore, and my friends, we are about to have a 9K spotting game on Redshire. A lot of things had to happen right for this to happen on this map. It is a decent scout map. I have had some high spotting and assist games on it, but they're not as common as, say, Proc or Malinovka. But we're going to go through this because there's a couple positions that I'm going to use and we're going to talk about how to use them and things to watch out for because there's a great spot, especially from the north spawn, but everybody knows about it and we'll talk about how to not get killed there because I have been. <laughs> I've also countered guys trying to use it, so I think a lot of you may know this. If you don't, I'm going to go up to this little row of bushes. It's got a nice ability to move left and right in it. If you get up near the top, you can see over this little ridge right here, and you can see the guys that are going to head over to the heavy brawl. And you can get early lights on dudes who are not too careful moving along over here, attempting to get in behind. So this is a standard battle. This map plays quite differently when we're talking about assault, but I have that turned off. So I, I see the M454 and whatever else is over there with them. Looks like I've got two guys spotted, the Foch 155. Now I'm going to get into this row of bushes. There's a couple things to remember about this row of bushes. The first thing is that the enemy team will sometimes surf right here, and all they have to do is be right near the edge, and they will get into proxy range for your tank, especially if you sneak up into the very tip of this thing, the very eastern tip of this thing, they'll light you. And if you get seen right here, 14,000 guns will go off at the same time from this ridge and potentially from over here near the Hindenburg and you're not long for the world. This has changed a little. There is a dip right here which can give you some amount of cover. It's not great, but it's better than it was. So you can initially dive down in here and hide, especially if you're in a low slung tank like the Manicore. So what I'm gonna do is I like to get in here early, see what I can see, and then start thinking about the potential for the enemy scout. He's a 13105, fairly fast tank and he probably knows exactly where I'm going to go. So we'll pop up here. I'm going to hang out here for a second, looking to maybe get a shot if I can. Now you can get shots from here, and we'll talk about how you do it here in just a moment. But it's tier 10, so people are gonna know exactly what's going on. All right. More than likely, the 5051 and the Lion are already aware of why they're spotted, all right? They probably figure there's a light tank in here. I mean, it's possible somebody further back, maybe kind of, maybe somebody up top. But if you look at where they are, I guess the lion's maybe high enough he could be spotted. But holy cow, I spotted him a while ago when he was still moving up the hill. So really, I'm imagining at this point, there's a couple people clicking on the mini-map in this row of bushes saying, hey, the scout is in there. So that being said, I'm getting a little bit nervous. I'm kind of thinking, all right, is this... 1390 going to come looking for me. So we're going to hang out here for a while. Kind of pay attention to what the enemy team is doing. If these dudes start shooting into the bush, you may want to make yourself a little scarcer. Get out of the bush. Maybe fall back a little bit into this low spot. Be careful going too far north because you'll uncover if you're over in this general area right over here. And keep an eye out for that other scout, my friends. Now, where do the other scouts go? Ooh, I spotted him. Holy cow. And I'm late. All right. So I really should have bailed out of this and headed down lower. I was hanging it out. And look at this dude. He's doing exactly what I was talking about. He sees me. And now I am just absolute bait for these guys. I have to bail. I'm like, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Thank goodness the 1390 didn't get a shot. All right. That's the low spot. Now, take a look at this. It's still exposed to these guys, potentially, depending on where they are. And maybe even over this area. So, like I said, it's better than it was, but it's not absolutely safe. So I'm going to try to not get hit by one of these guys. I'm using this building to see if I can just hopefully not get seen. 13105 runs, runs away. And I have enough camo that I can sneak back up into the bush. Now, I'm going to go to the bottom edge, or the western edge of this bush, to keep spots on these guys. Now, they know I'm in here at this point. They saw me. More than likely, they suspected it. And there's not a really good reason, fellas, to be up in the eastern piece of it right here because there's not a lot of shots to be gained. Sometimes you can catch guys out by this rock. Other scouts or mediums might go over there, especially the bush off to the right side right there. You might see them shooting. But 
it's better right now to kind of catch all these dudes who are hanging out in the little dip or up trying to poke over the ridge. But again, pay attention. Pay attention if guys start shooting in there, if they get real interested in where you are and start kind of blind shooting the bush. And if they get bored, things are going badly and they know they're spotted, they may start doing that. So I'm kind of just swinging my map around or my view around trying to see what's going on. It doesn't look like the heavy side's got a lot of help. Now I'm going to back off of this. All right, so you can shoot from here and this is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to make that row dark so that you can't see through it. And then I'm going to try to take a shot on the STB here, although he is sort of backing out. Let's see if we can get a shot. There we go. Very nice. Now I'm going to move a little bit after I do that. Kind of sneak up here, although I'm not doing a good job of it because I'm going right at him there. I'd like to avoid... I almost thought I was spotted again. That, that guy's looking for me. I'd like to avoid being on line with where my shot came from after I take the shot because guys will start to blind shoot into there. Now I missed him. That's unfortunate. Kind of move a little bit. Again, I'm, I'm, only rock, I'm only going forward and back, so I'm not doing a great job of giving him a different angle to shoot me. So we'll put, push back here, get into the bush, see if we can get these guys lit again. There we go. So we got the STB. He's probably thinking about it. You can tell it. Oh, that's not good. All right, so there you go. The 13105 came up and over. I mean, he knows I'm there. He's going to try to counter me. I'm going to try to bail out of this thing. We're going to use this building again. I'm very worried about Artie. Artie can be a big problem if he starts paying attention. Also, that, that guy's trying to take a look at me and shoot me. I think I probably went dark just in time. He was shooting where I was. We're going to grab this corner right here again. And honestly, I, I would like the 13105. And for some reason, he bails out, right? That was a bad move on his part, to be honest. He was doing a good job of countering me and keeping me honest over here. And he bails out of that. And I think he was just not wanting to get hit by our snipers up there. That is one thing to think about, guys, when you're using this particular position. Pay attention to whether you have any help up on the hill right here. If you don't own this hill and you're hanging out in this middle, that scout's just going to keep lighting you and then you're going to get worked over by their guys on the ridge. So we got 2,000 spotting, 325 damage. I'm watching the AMX push up in there. Kind of an unwise maneuver, although we do now own the castle and that's huge. All right, so I take that shot, but let's talk about it. Because if you look at this way, it's not quite... I'm not quite as far away from this part of the bushes as I am from this part. So where I'm zoomed in, it looks good. But if you're too close to this section, there can be guys up there on the ridge. And if you don't have that 15 meters... Remember, it's 15 meters from your tank. So you have different distances along right here. I have been spotted in that situation by being too close, which is another reason why I'm moving, plus I don't want him to start blind shooting in there. Push up into the bush here, kind of making a living here. The 13105 has buggered off, which is very nice. All right, there goes the STB. Don't really have a shot on him. Now we'll back out till we get that bush dark. We'll shoot him. Ah, uh, it's a bummer, bad shot. I went behind him. Somebody else gets a thump on him. Oh, very nice. See, he just shot in there. I mean, he knows I'm there, right? So he did not like that at all. And darn it. Gets killed before I can get reloaded and get in there. So we'll head and push forward. Okay, let's talk about this maneuver here. Take a look. I haven't really talked about it much, but if you look up over here, we've killed six of them and they've only got one of us. This game is more or less over unless we make some very massive mistakes right here. We own the castle. The heavies have done a nice job holding that off. I lock down the middle with my spotting. I get lucky because the 13105 does not want to get in there and get rid of me. And honestly, if he'd pushed me a couple times, probably would have helped his team out quite a bit. But we're clearing out the middle. So now that I'm looking at this, certainly no issues on the west flank. East flank is okay for the moment. Let's push the middle, get some lights, because these guys are going to be very vulnerable over here on this ridge especially considering how many tanks we have over in the castle. So these are all things to look at while you're scouting. Decent passive scouting job. Again, lucky the 13105 didn't get interested in trying to get rid of me, and now I can go a little more active. We come on in here, we find this guy. That's awesome. 
take a shot at him. And we need to move, though, because there's still some heavy hitters out there. The FV especially would suck to get hit by him. He's back in there somewhere. So I'm an easy one-shot to him. Come back here and use these bushes, see if we can light some guns. Oh, good, there goes a dude. He's running. I'm going to hold my shot, I believe, because I don't want to get spotted. I'm hoping somebody else can get one. There we go. Make that dark, and we'll shoot. Awesome. Back out of that. I did get lit. All right, maybe I was a little too close. Maybe that bush wasn't uh, as wasn't that bush wasn't as camo y as I would like. And again, depending on the different angles guys have on you, maybe somebody was able to see me when I took that shot. Well, obviously somebody was. Try to shoot him, but it doesn't happen. Now, we we have lost some tanks, fellas. We were six to one, and we've dropped four. So we're sort of pushing into some big guns. And they've taken down some of our near-deads. If you see, or if you pay attention, over on the east side, the heavies lost that. So we lost those two or three that were over there. I think we lost a guy or two in the middle as we got a little too aggressive. And they've fallen back. But the good news is, we now have some good map control. And there are corridors, much like this one right here, where I know I can sneak up on these guys. So I saw one stir run off. The 268-4 Nitrous Beast was moving through here, not taking any fire. The M454 buggered off into the pit right there. So I'm feeling like I have a pretty good option to move up to the south side of the map right here and start maybe lighting guys on the red line. And this is a very difficult situation, even though they have some decent guns in here. We're going to go ahead and get some nice... That was a terrible shot on my part. Found the 13105. Killing hit would be absolutely massive. The GC takes a hit. Coming up here, just maybe I can get the kill on him before somebody else does. No. Nope. All right. Oh, crud. All right. So this other Sturb is there. Oh, he hit, me. He hit me with HE. All right. Well, I'm lucky he didn't pen me. Then the 13105 makes a move. I'm going to try to not get killed by this guy. Honestly, he really wishes he would have done it earlier. There we go. So we get him dead. Do a little spin right there, just in case Artie's coming at me, trying to lead fire me. And now we'll look for some more spotting for the 268-4. Okay, so we have them stuffed into a corner. There's a good amount of hit points there. If I can get some lights with all the snipers and the angles we have, I should be able to gobble up a decent amount of spotting. So I want to go dark for a little while. That's kind of why I, why I zing around. I don't want to go directly into them after I was spotted so they know which way I'm coming from. I mean, they know I'm coming from this direction, but I don't want them to see the, exactly where the marker is and then when I top over the ridge they just time the shot and kill me so we'll be a little bit sneaky kind of move on into here now this is a difficult push fellas because we all know where they are there's probably some in this spot right here right in front of me and this is all open terrain getting in there so if I can get in there and get down underneath them I might have some good things going on right there I'm kind of looking at what I've got I've got a Foch all right, it's nine to six. Oh, look at this, found a guy moving, very nice. Sometimes if you just wait a minute, the enemy will make a mistake for you. I'm sort of worried he was just gonna push me, but let's get in here and see if we can't get a little bit more damage off of him, there we go. Now he's down into the pit. The FV's fallen back somewhere, there's a 155, 58. There's another full stir, as far as I know anyway, he's full hit points and already popping in there with the poor guy. All right, here comes some backup. And I really figure they're going to just go, but they stop. Okay. Nope, 2684 is going. Now, here's something to think about. The 2684 is probably spotted now, more than likely. So, dudes are going to start shooting at him. That's, yeah, see, look at that. He just took two big hits. That would have ended me. So, that gives me an opportunity to come in here and bounce this guy. Oh, my goodness. He dies. All right, good. Now, I can get up underneath. We'll head over here and try to get in behind this building. Fantastic. So up to 5,000 spotting, 1,600 damage. Now the 15, 16's making a move. We'll spin around here. Down goes that guy. All right, not my spotting. That's fine. I'm still alive. And now we're looking at just two tanks. I kind of have a good idea where that stirb is. I'm going to look for the FV, see if we can put a shot on him. He dies anyway. All right, let's think about this. And more than likely, fellas, the last holdout spot is right there in the corner. So we'll head off this way. I see you guys coming with me. I'm like, all right, let's not just get ganked by him. Can we see him? No, it didn't work. All right. I don't want the Udez to get the spotting. Oh, I did get spotted. All right. So we'll back out for a second. He's getting a little bit worried. 
guys are clicking right there. I'm not sure where the 1516 is going, to be honest. I'm kind of watching him if he takes fire. I'm like, all right, whatever. We'll just sneak up underneath him. Get this guy lit. There we go. Proxy lit. All right, he can't see me. 1,000-something hit points there for me. Boom, 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 boom. I'll try to get, get this shit. Oh, okay, never mind. 8,365. There was actually some more in there from assist that wasn't counted on the screen right there. That happens. Go ahead and make sure you check your end plates because sometimes there's some extra spotting. I, I, I don't remember the math or what it is. Somebody might be able to fill it in down there below in terms of you lit the guy and then a shot goes in after they go dark. Sometimes you get some of that assist right there. 1,663, over 9,000 spotting on red shower, fellas. And it, you know, this map can give you these results. As I said, the enemy team kind of has to be a bit uh, Muppet-like to help you out. Let's let that artillery shell hit. There we go. I was lucky the 13105 didn't push me, but you've got to take all that into account. You know, you, you watch the game, you see how it unfolds. 13105 buggered off. That gave me some more options right there. I almost made a fatal mistake hanging out in the top end of that bush for too long. I talked about it and still did it. I have in the past been smarter than that and moved down. Spot the guy as he goes by, but he doesn't see me because I'm in a mana core. Let him take some hits, all that good stuff. But always remember when you're doing the passive thing, there, there will come a point where you need to get forward with your scout and start lighting the guys. There was a lot of TDs in this particular game. And if I hadn't pushed forward and started helping these guys get lights and figure out where they are, get these dudes dead, then we might have got chewed up even more trying to push in. You will note that all that's left really are the TDs and the lights and the, and the arty at the end of this game. So there you go. Redshire, 9,000 spotting. Let me know what you think. If you have any other suggestions for people on how to scout this one, this one was obviously from the north side. South side is a, a, quite a bit different. But go ahead and chuck it down there in the comments if you got it. That's all I've got for today. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. See ya.